So here we have this beautiful liquid that is made out of sugar. Simple syrup. A lot of people don't know what simple syrup is for and some think it's just to make a cake moist when the cake is dry or maybe because you overbaked the cake or simply because the recipe was not that good. But that is not the case. Let's start with the recipe first. The most common recipe for simple syrup is one cup of sugar to one cup of water. But there are many variations of the recipe out there. All of them are basically the same. More sugar, less sugar, more water, less water. All ends up in being water with sugar. The recipe I'm posting is a little bit different. But quite honest, you can do this with almost any recipe for simple syrup. You will need one cup of sugar to two thirds cup of water. I have set my stove in high and I'm gonna put the sugar and the water and I'm gonna mix it well and I'm gonna let it get to a bubbly stage. As soon as I get to the stage and I see bubbles in my sugar, I'm gonna turn the temperature down to a medium heat. You wanna see bubbles, but you want more of a simmering heat than boiling heat. Some people let this simmer for 15 minutes. To be quite honest, all you need to do is make sure that all your sugar is dissolved. That's it. This recipe has less water because later you can add more liquor to it. You can add any flavors to this simple syrup. I just added here a little bit of vanilla extract. This one has a little bit of a gelatin consistency. It will dissolve and it will give you a brownish tint to your simple syrup, and that's okay. If you want a clear, just stay with a clear extract. It won't make a difference though. Once your simple syrup is clear and you don't see any sugar crystals, you can let it cool down. To this syrup, you can add one quarter cup of any liquor of your choice. You can use Amaretto, Godiva chocolate liqueur, you can use some Kahlua, or maybe you want rum, or maybe some coconut flavor. Anything goes for this one. If you don't like to use liquor, you can use other things. You can use some orange juice or maybe some orange zest. Maybe you want to use some key lime or key lime zest. You can use anything you want. Even some syrup that you have left over from strawberries, you can use it too. The sky is the limit. Keep in mind that you can also use extracts to flavor the syrup and if you don't want to add a quarter liquid, you can add just water and just leave it simple. Some people like to use a brush for their cakes when they're adding the simple syrup. This will depend really on how much syrup you want to put on your cake. I put a lot of syrup for my cakes because where I come from we love very very moist cakes. Another option you can use is a spray bottle. That way you can spray less syrup and still have good coverage on your cake. So it really depends on what you want to achieve with your cake. When I put simple syrup on my cakes, I make sure that I cut the layer of cake so I can see beautiful, nice yellow cake and I can add the simple syrup and it will soak completely into my cake. And I tend to do both sides. There's a few things that you need to remember. Adding a lot of simple syrup will change the strength of your cake. So if you're stacking, be careful and make sure that you have a strong cake that is gonna stack well with a strong support system. If it's a one tier cake, you should be fine. Just make sure not to overdo it either because it can sit down through the bottom of the cake and it can just run everywhere. I will write a blog about it so I can give you all the details about simple syrup. In the meantime, just remember, this is something that you will use as you like. If you want a lot, use a lot. If you just like a moist cake that is gonna stay moister for longer, just add a little. I will post all the links in the box below, to my blog, to my Facebook, and to my website. So just remember, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna keep adding tutorials and go check my other tutorials. They are all posted in my website too. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Until next time, ta-ta!